Welcome guys to my new video tutorial about NX10 as you can see. Today it's about macros and about creation of user commands. Um, for this issue I use my guitar um, concept, manufacturing concepts, which you can see here. Uh, I manufacture this guitar on a CNC machine and I have three different manufacturing steps and three different positions of the guitar. First of all, this is the back cut, as you can see. This is manufacturing step number one. And I control the manufacturing step by use of the arrangements. So you can easily right-click arrangements and switch to step number two, but you also have to switch to step number two on the body. As you can see here, step two. This is my second manufacturing step. And I have a third manufacturing step here, step three, and I will switch here to step three. And you can see this additional um, content here. There's something missing in here. Um, there's the top missing, so I will use show option. It's hidden by mistake. So this is what I want to get. And <coughs> I used to switch a lot between those three steps um, because of modification issues, etc. And it's always two steps. I always have to switch the arrangement. I always have to switch the reference set. So I'm going to create macros and user commands for that. First of all, let's create a new ribbon tab here, which I call manufacturing steps. The customized tool can be accessed by the keyboard shortcut Control in one. Hit OK, and here's my new manufacturing step stuff. And because I'm in right now, I will create new items. I will create new user commands. Um, three of them, like this. And when you right-click them, you can call them, rename them. Step one. Let's copy that. Uh, we get step two. And we got step three, like this. So the next step is to create the macro. And <clears throat> this is done below menu, tools, uh, macro, star record, control, shift, and R. Uh, you can also use the command finder, start record. And he can't find it. Uh, let's search for macro. Here we are. Um, record macro. I put this to the left water bar. And I will also use playback macro just to check it. And let's start the record. Let's pick a folder first. I use the folder where the assembly is saved in. Project, PRS, uh, macro, switch, manufacturing steps, and this is step one. So the macro is recording right now, it's recorded, um, but we have time. Uh, re just relax, um, avoid mistakes, avoid just to try things out, you know, so you should know what you're doing. Uh, first thing I want to do, I want to switch the arrangement to step one. And I want to switch this one to the reference set to step one. So, and now it's time to stop the record. Uh, you can play back this. I would just undo the last two steps and play back just to check whether it's fine. And it seems to be fine, all right. So within the folder, I will just copy this one and paste it. So it's not necessary to record um, additional macros for the next steps. I will just rename it. And I use the um, Notepad++ plus plus to edit. And here you can see that um, what is recorded, some general information. And here you can see step one. We will use step two instead. And also here. And I will copy and paste this one. Rename it step three, edit with notepad, and rename it. So 
So as you can see here, here it's about the ref set, and here it must be about the um, arrangement. So I can also close this one. And now we have to link the macro to our empty user command. So I'm going to open customize again, control and one. I just need to right click and edit action, as you can see. And you can choose different types here. You can use um, journal files in your favorite programming language, NX open files, etc. Here's the macro. And I'm going to link this. This is my step one. And you can enter a message text that appears when you roll over with the mouse. So I will call this switches to a specific manufacturing Here we are. I will just copy this. Okay. Let's go to the next step. Edit action. Macros. It's number two. Get my button message text here. Uh, right click here. Edit action. Browse. Macro three. I got my text here. Okay. And I'm going to close this and now you can switch between different manufacturing steps. As you can see, pretty easy to do. Um, something which would be nice is having a picture there. Um, I use Photoshop when it gets complex, when I use real images. But in our case, I'm just going to demonstrate it uh, by use of the Windows tool. Uh, called paint. Um, the problem with these pictures is we need transparency. As you can see here, we have a transparent background in the picture. And a specific color is used for transparency. It's um, a specific uh, RGB value. So first of all, let's change size. Let's use pixel instead and Let's use 100 to 100 pixels. Maybe it's, I think the maximum is 128. I'm not sure, but if it gets too large, um, the system will shut down. So let's first of all create a background. The first color is magenta, 255, 0, 255. This is required for transparency. And I'm just going to fill this. Okay. And I'm gonna just going to create text instead of pictures. And I will call this one step one. Oh, the color is, let's use gray, green. Let's use green instead. Okay. So I'm going to save this as, this is important. It needs to be saved as a um, bitmap. I use 24 bitmap. 24-bit bitmap. Um, I'm going to save this in the same folder as before. Projects, PRS, uh, macros, switch manufacturing steps. And this is step one. Let's copy this, save it. And I just, for demonstration, I can leave it as it is. I'm not going to save this. Let's Access again, and you just need to right click, change button icon, icon name, browse, step one. Uh, here you can see it's magenta, and after adding it, it's transparent. And you can do this several times here. It's not step one, but just for demonstration, and I can easily switch 